Is this the Laplace fashion of dealing with emergencies? I swear, if anyone walks past us now, schoolers or Deros, I will be instantly killed by their silent judgment. As a matter of fact, when the patient or the subject becomes unstable during contact, it is necessary to isolate them from the triggering cause immediately. But we just burnt down the isolation room. <sighs> no wonder head nurse Judith was so angry. <sighs> Miss Verton, are you all right? That kangaroo is punching your nose. I'm fine. So is the kangaroo. I'm sure Medicine Pocket will bring us the concentration potion soon. They'd better. We look like a bunch of kangaroos, feel like kangaroos, and even ugh, smell like kangaroos. We will make tomorrow's headline of the Australian Naga and become the three kangaroos hanging out on a public lawn at midnight. That'd be the end of our social lives as humans and the beginning of a life as kangaroos. Make the headline? Ah, I see. Please, don't worry. Although it's true that Medicine Pocket is a frequent celebrity on the news, the concentration potion is not their work. Besides, we didn't use anything new in its development. I'm not worried about that guy. I was talking about myself. There are paparazzi following me around these days. I didn't know you were famous. I'm not. It's just that someone wants my name spread in a bad way. Ugh, trust me, you should never piss off the paparazzi. You should turn to the police for help. Yeah, yeah, just shut up and keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. I will toss his shoes on the power lines if I find him here. Miss Desert Flannel, watch your back! What are those papara- Ah! Ah! It burns! Is this... fire? Miss Desert Flannel, the lake is over there! Get in there! Lake? I, I can't swim! <gasps> ah! This stupid kangaroo kicked me in the eye! Oh! Move! Move! I can't see where the lake is! Wait, calm down. You are not in danger. She is. Are you joking? I was getting burned. Huh? There's nothing on my skin. any damage on me just burning the foam on my skin is that some new method developed to get rid of the potion but what is miss spathadia doing here the head nurse shouldn't have let an unstable patient walk around freely did did she sneak out gosh mate she's on fire does she even remotely look stable to you rise like a deal Sipping on the red soil where vines and woods grow. Mm. Uh, is dead? She's as well heated as a boiling pot. We can't let her go on like this. Her brain is going to be roasted in that little head. Let go, Spathodia! 
Your temperature is dangerously high. Chill out. I'm not a lizard. And concrete number two with cream is the best dish in pie material. Spathodira is suffering confusion. It's probably the flames doing. We need to separate them first. Okay. Okay. Miss Vitton, please step back. Oi! What are you spraying? <coughs> I'm still here! Hey! This is just some spores, Miss Desert Flannel. Worry not. They are the tranquilizer that the locals used to pacify animals and was once widely used among arcanists in early times for hunting. As long as we calm her down, we can bring her back to... Ah! Games. 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 We need the real games. This is where sportsmanship originates. Young people. Young people. Y young people need cats and strawberry jam. Jam. Cat jam it is. <laughs> Did I use the wrong mushroom? Miss Spathodia has become even more restless. What about Miss Desert Flannel? Is she...? No, you didn't. She's behaving exactly the way you described. Uh... Miss... Desert Flannel? Uh... <laughs> Is this the house for me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does this mean I don't have to pay rent anymore? <laughs> Looks like this is how she has her mental break. I will bring her back to normal immediately. It won't take... M more than five minutes. But I think Miss Spathody is going to attack again. What you need is the reopening of the gate to the scorching land. And... And the retrieval of the rock. Ugh. And her fire is getting stronger. Get down! We are running out of time. Let's deal with the burning issue first. I will. I will try my best. Just one thing. I will be home. Are you seeking my service? I'm here for a worn tooth. Excuse me. I'm oh, sorry. A bit crowded here. Playtime, boys and girls. The moment to oh, about yes. Handle it gently. We walk in long nights. Walking training. Please, don't resist. My child, here's something fun for you. Pride goes before the fall. I've been there. You better take
Uh, where am I? What are you doing here, guys? I thought you were... driven away. Great! She's back to normal! Oh, I remember it now. Spatha dear! The games. We must revive the Uller games. Because the rocks rumble on the knees. I've heard what's going on. We will check if her organs are injured by the high temperature after returning to Laplace. You can visit her tomorrow after 11 a.m. Um, can we visit her? I thought you will send her to the wards on the 13th floor. Go with the flow when you can't fight it. We've now understood what will happen if we separate you and keep her alone someplace else. What's more, Laplace can't lose another clinic. I see. This is great, thank you. So, are you sure those mushrooms won't cause any damage to my brain and body? Like lower IQ levels, lung diseases, or skin allergy? Um, if you think it's necessary, I will accompany you to Laplace for some follow-up checkups. Of course, you don't have to pay for the tests. The fee will be deducted from my salary. Please, don't worry about the money. Okay, okay, enough. I trust you. I don't need a kid to pay the doctor for me. Besides, it's embarrassing enough to be put down by mushrooms. Not to mention that I'll be giving that guy the story he craved if I was hospitalized. That guy? Oh, you mean the journalist following you? Huh? Was that a flash? <sighs> Speak of the devil. Bah! Yourself. Don't make me force you! <laughs> Makua, don't you dare involve others. This is between you and me. I've told you long ago that one day I will make you feel the same misery that I did. I have been following you all the time. And this is the moment. The moment of vengeance. <laughs> now, I have more than enough photos. As for these other people, you didn't strike me as such a kind-hearted person. I didn't know you were so shameless. Let's see what tomorrow's newspaper has to say about this, Miss Photographer. No! We can't let him get away! He has a photo of us! Is he your enemy? Mm, m maybe arch enemy? What happened between you two? If you don't want to be one of the burning kangaroos on the headline tomorrow, shut up and start running! We have to stop him.
G'day. You, uh, got the latest Australian naga here? Nice choice. Everyone is talking about it. Hmm? A strange party held in the city park last night. The witness claimed to see the burning kangaroos, mushroom intoxicated rolling croc, and the teenage arsonists dancing together. A secret event on the public lawn? The revival of the Uluru Games? It saddens us to admit that the recession and inflation have walloped some young adults. They were crawling in the park at night? Groaning and moaning like beasts, dragging themselves along and losing consciousness? Wait, your voice, are you? Do you have to talk to me right now? I'm busy hating my life. I don't have time for your little chit chat. No way. Desert Flannel, it's really you. Everybody is talking about you right now, and they can really imagine. Some say you're mad. Some say you're the heroes fighting against aliens. Well, the most known story is that event. Is it real that you're going to restart the games? I have nothing to do with it. It was all that Junior's fault. I was just unlucky. It was pure bad luck that I ran into those weirdos, got taken to the hospital and let Makawa get what he wants. I shouldn't have let him get away. If I see him again, I swear, I will pull out his tongue and tie it around his neck. Oh, look at this gibberish. He said we are the ones who eat bunyips from the sewerage, a burning kangaroo, and I am a nutter because I can't find a way to afford rent. Oh, this is great. I might as well be a kangaroo. At least it's true that you're banging your head against the wall for rent. that you're talking to another. <sighs> Whatever. I will soon lose my part-time jobs and be kicked out of the house where my granny lived for decades. I'm heading back. Let me know if you know of any job vacancies. I can do a lot of things. As long as the money is good. Nah, as long as I'm paid. Wait, Desert Flannel. Come and take a look at this. So many people came here this morning asking about the Uluru Games. And one hour before, the Scissors Jerry brought me this. This is... a pre-sale ticket to the Uluru Games? I've sold over 50 tickets at a unit price of this much. It has been suspended for too long. So long that everyone thinks society has forgotten it. But we remember. Our ancestors told us about those amazing and funny sports. That big, wide and fancy stadium. <laughs> I all remember it. Even looking forward to it. And even bid up for a fake ticket. Mate, did you get more of these from the other gangs? Two boxes left.
These are from the Slicky and Eucalyptus Brotherhood. Eucalyptus and what? Didn't catch that name. Oh, do you have the mints that I bought from you before? The least purchased ones? You always put them at the bottom of your box? All right. Now give my ticket back and I'll put it away. I don't want any of the gangs to find out I'm dealing with the other... Desert flannel? That's what I keep telling everyone. Muddying the water is what this bad girl does. That's right. Desert Flannel has taken the fake tickets with her. The ones from Clippy Slicky and the Eucalyptus Brotherhood. She's gone. No, not to the black market. <sighs> Sir... I heard that the Bunyips are getting restless again. Is that true? <laughs> ha! I'm gonna make a fortune out of it! I'll be able to buy that house, get myself a new oven, some new clothes, and that giant wool nest for Pluffy! Those bunyips are out again. Haven't seen them out in the sun for a while now. Ugh, I must hurry. Wait, are they coming my way? I've got my eyes on them. They are more interested in her than in me. Well, this makes sense. Since the Uluru Games have made the biggest news of the week, the people are going on and on about it all day. And where else will the rumor-loving Bunyips go at this point? <laughs> the last time I saw something like this was when that scandal of Mr. Pompadour broke. It will be a big story, almost as certainly as a cut will bleed. I will pause my other projects and focus on this one. This is very kind of you. I really appreciate it. Not any arcane creatures can stop me from getting rich. Let alone that you haven't eaten enough rumors to grow into a three-floor high and multi-legged gigantic monster. Boop, 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 boop. Puppy, give me a hand. from the ticket box? Come get it yourself! Hey! Hello there! Move your head! I hear something! Oh? Hmm. <laughs> Retreat! Oh, what? I can't make the call? Who's hot? Watch this! I hear something. Don't be so furious. <laughs> Agents have guns. It's called common sense. We should listen very hard and beating so loud. Secrets always hide in careless words. Listen carefully. I've already said that Thuggaby doesn't need a bodyguard. Told you I'm super healthy. You should let me go now. 
But you need our care, Miss Bathadia. It's also our responsibility to make sure that you're safe and stable. When Arcanists were first introduced to their power, they would experience a 4-12 to 12 week adjustment period, during which they may suffer emotional breakdowns, strong hallucinations, or frequent comas. Hey! Stop! Stop it! I have something very important to do right now! I mean it! I'm not gonna waste my time here! I'm fine! There'll be no more confusion, mental breakdown, hallucination, or coma! Something very important. What is it? I flame talked to me last night. is exhausted after our rampage last night. Is the conversation about your changes? Of course! The moment I touched it, it crawled along my arm to my mouth and went back to the summit. And, and all there was left in front of me it was a black wall. Sorry, I'm not quite with you. Perhaps you could start from what happened then. Sure. I... I don't remember it well, though. They were blurry memories. Imagine you're looking at a... plate of bacon and eggs through... 30 layers of frosted glass. I had to get close to the glass to barely feel them. I remembered you were there, but there was also a clear window. I saw complete darkness in the window for most of the time. But there were pictures flashing by sometimes. I believe that your memory is a reincarnator. Just like what's written in the books. Hey! Let me finish! Ah, sorry. I was too excited because this is the first time I see valid proof of reincarnation. Please continue. Ahem. I think that's my memory as a reincarnator. I saw my own body in that window, just like the one I'm looking at here. I saw a lot of flames, wobbling lights and people. My heart has never beaten that fast, yet the fire in my body seemed completely natural, as if it was destined to burn inside me. It whispered just one phrase to me, again and again. Like what you mentioned last night? Yes, the Uluru Games. I must revive the Uluru Games. What, what are you going to do? Let's not get to the paperwork of applications, security arrangement, and permission from the local government just yet. The location of entrance to the Uluru Games was never fixed. Only few Arcanists could find it, and the games are for Arcanists only. There has never been a human athlete in there. And they have been cancelled for all these years because... they were completely lost in the War of 1942. Nobody has found them since. I can find it, because I have found my ancient self. I'm the only person in this time who has been to that land, and my flame is my compass. Though I have not yet figured out why my memories are all about the conflicts with the flame, I felt so whole again when we burned together. I'm sure it will help me and unite with me because it trusts me so much that it traveled all the way here through the endless darkness and rainy seasons to come out of my mouth. It's here for me, and now 
It's going to take me somewhere else. I'll follow wherever it goes. So, Verdon, you said you would take care of me. Would you come with me? I need a revival squad and friends who understand and support each other, just the way the Flame and I do. By then, you'll go to the stadium too, and we'll run together. I promise it'll be a wonderful place where you'll never regret going. You will enjoy the Uluru Games. Hmm. I've seen pictures of the Uluru Games in the school library collection a long time ago. I was not a fan of the routine physical fitness test at school, but... I don't think any Arcanist would say no to witnessing the revival of the once magnificent games. Oh, so... I'm more than willing to join you in bringing back the games. It will be a wonderful new beginning. Well, yes, thank you! I see. You're shouldering extremely important responsibility, Miss Bathadia. I will apply for you to be discharged and explain all this to Judith. <sighs> and thank you, Ezra! I won't forget your contribution to the revival of the Uluru Games! I'm deeply honored to have this chance to help. Then I will get the paperwork done and go back. Hmm? What's that for? I need to prepare as many mushrooms as possible, so that I can better assist you on the way. You? On the way? You're coming too? Of course. We've been through so many things together, am I not part of the team? No, of course not. How can I take you and the Revival Squad? The games are meant for Arcanists. You've read the documents, right? Since the very beginning of history, humans have made countless attempts to find the entrance to the stadium, yet none of them made it. It's just not for humans. If you're a fan of sports, you can totally watch those held by humans. There will be a boxing event in Melbourne tomorrow at the National Tennis Centre at Flinders Park. No, no, Miss Bathadia. I'm not interested in any games. The only reason why I'm coming along is because you haven't fully recovered and still need medical care. Besides, I hope to collect more information about reincarnators from you. I will not disturb your mission searching for the stadium. Please, let me come with you. It's going to be good for both of us. Collect information? You're monitoring me! Th since when did I grant you the permission to do that? I never said yes. I don't want to be studied or published on newspapers like the reincarnator you talked about. Our research does not need to be published in the newspaper. We can do it in a more subtle and secure manner. I will not design any tasks for you to perform, nor will I force you to take any potions. My job is to observe, record, and ensure your health and safety. Like what we do with the mushrooms. But I'm a living arcanist, not a mushroom. I've had enough of everyone watching. I don't want to be the embellishment added to someone's academic achievement or a subject of the paper that'll help you switch fields. Ah, uh, I didn't explain it right. Miss Bathadia, please listen to me. I have never changed my heart as a researcher, and I care about Arcanus as much as I care about mushrooms. It was never my intention to use you as a career boost. You are such a rare opportunity to us, because none of us know when and where the next reincarnator will be found. If we miss this opportunity, the academic circle may have to wait for another decade to further their research. The discovery you and I made may shock many, our names might go down in history, but most importantly, it's going to help a lot of people. Have you heard of 
Chengiz, invented by Dame Parodi. It was inspired by a long-legged shepherd in France, and it has helped many athletes with disabilities to walk and run again. Miss <laughs> Bethadia, you look miserable in the blanket. Keep going, Ezra. You're very close. Me? Close to what? I don't follow. Close? Well, speaking of close, guess who is close to becoming the most successful business person here? Desert Flannel. Where have you been? Hi. What are the white eyes for? I'm not some monster crawling out of the sewage. You look a mess. What happened? Uh, I didn't ask you why you are crouching in bed like an ostrich, did I? So maybe you can return the favor and keep your nose out of my business, yes? And what really matters is the good stuff here. You wouldn't know how unbelievably lucky we are, my dear business part... Uh, uh, friends? Yeah, no. I don't. Ugh. Ezra alone is already too much information for my brain. Fine, you restless and humorless people. We'll bring back the Uluru Games! Hmm. Um. Hey! What kind of reaction is this? Why are you quiet as stones? This is a great idea! And you're giving me this? Join my revival squad. Handshake? Handshake. Then I... No, not you. 